how do you know when, where you should be working out at if you're going to come to this program? Well, you're going to titrate it up. You're going to start with the empty bar, and then you're going to go up 20 pounds, and then you're going to go up another 20 pounds. And you're going to do that until going up another 20 pounds would be too much. And then you're going to do two more sets of five, and that's your first thing. Then you write it down. What if you're and in then you go up 10 pounds next time. And then you write that down. Then you go up 10 pounds the next time. Then you write that down, then you go down t up 10 pounds the next time, and you write that down, then you go up 5 pounds the next time. And you do that until you can't do it anymore. I you wanted to hear a percentage. We don't use percentages. Percentages are stupid. Yeah, that's I traded up. Just like we did yesterday. That's how you do it. We did it yesterday. That's how we do it. That's the process. Once you have that base number, the next number is based on the previous one. Okay. Following on that, how do you choose your rest time? Two minutes for everybody, all novices? Never. Two minutes. Ever, never, ever two minutes. All right. So this brings up the, the next thing we always have to say in the Q&A. What are the three reasons people get stuck? On a novice progression. Reason, reason number one. What? You don't need no. Reason number one. They're not resting long enough between sets. Reason number one. That's always the first question we have. How long are you resting between sets? And if they say, well, at least two minutes, then you say, dumbass. This isn't conditioning. You always rest five minutes. Yeah. Always. And maybe 10 minutes. And maybe 15 minutes, depending on how much weight you're in. If a guy's doing three sets of five with 405, how long is he resting for set? At least two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> The stronger you get, the longer you rest for it. Okay? Question number two. How big are the jumps you're taking? Like how much weight are you increasing? How much weight are you increasing? You're trying to take 10 pound jumps and you get stuck? No, man. You take five pound jumps. If it's the press and the bench press, if you don't have small plates to take less than five pound jumps, then you're not doing the program. You cannot make five pound jumps on the press and the bench press. It cannot be done. So you're not doing the program. And third question, always the third question, is how much are you eating? Well, at least 3,000 calories a day. That is. That's not enough food. You can't make progress on 3,000 calories a day. So those are the first three questions you always ask in that order. In that order. Those are the three questions. You didn't write any of those down. I'll remember. You should write those down. If I were you, I'd write those down. But those are those are the those are the primary reasons people get stuck on this program. It's unnecessary. If you're doing it right, you shouldn't get stuck for four or five months. You ought to be able to make pro linear progress on this. Everybody ought to be able to make linear progress on this for four to five months. Unless you do one of those three things. because it works that well, it's that predictable. If you, you get stuck at two months, I know that one of those three things has been done. Every single time, one of those three things has occurred. Just like night follows day.